The truth is, is that we use this walkway. I can't walk. I'm like, woo! <laughs> it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I promise I haven't been drinking. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are in my own home. In fact, we are in my kitchen. So for those of you who are just tuning in and haven't um, been following along, we run a real estate and design business here in Atlanta called the house of Valentina. I know, I named it after myself and my home. <laughs> There's reasons behind that, but we're not going to get into that today. But we lived overseas for 12 years and moved back to our hometown for about four years ago. Bought a house about three years ago and we renovated the entire house. There's still a few projects left to go, but the biggest project that we did was definitely our kitchen. And I've been meaning to do a full tour of this kitchen for about a year. So it's been done for about a year. I totally owed you guys a full tour where I open the drawers and I show you what we picked and tell you all about it. But oh my gosh, like sometimes my business actually takes over my life and there's not a lot of time left over for myself. And so I'm taking time today for us, for us so that we can check out this kitchen and see what we did and just have a really fun time walking around it. So let's just jump straight in. First of all, the thing you probably need to know about me is that if you don't already know this, um, I like to change things a lot. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm known for. I have a background as being a stylist and I just geek out over moving things around and testing things and I don't know, I get bored. It's from moving 23 times in 17 years. I, I have a need to move things. So. The way it is today is not the way it was when we finished it a year ago. In fact, truth be told, I was going for like this really edgy, um, super modern, very Scandinavian kind of feel. And once we finished, I was like, ugh. <sighs> okay, so I debated in the beginning about Scandinavian versus French. I couldn't decide what I really wanted out of this kitchen. And I tried to combine both of them, but let's be honest, it's mostly Scandinavian. And I'll show you a few ways that I've added in a little bit more of that French country kind of feel that I really love as well. Before we could even get started on any of the finishing touches, I took down all the cabinets, which was very bold. Everyone thought I was crazy. What on earth was I going to do for storage? And how was that gonna look? And how is it gonna work? Well, I did it anyways. I put in beautiful windows. We put them at the same level as all the other windows, so nobody realizes that they haven't always been here. People are shocked. They can't believe that these windows were not originally here. We also did a very bold move. Originally, where these shelves are was a double stack of ovens. So what I did was, let me show you. I wanted this moment every single time I walked into my kitchen. I wanted window light and I wanted my gorgeous, beautiful hood that is black and it's by a company called Smeg. And no, it's not Schmeg, as my dad keeps teasing me. It is not Schmeg, Dad. It's Smeg and it's cool and it comes from Europe and I became a vendor for them so that I could have their items in my own home because they're not available very many places in the US and I wanted to be able to make them available to myself and to my clients. Oh, do you guys know oh, this whole entire kitchen was designed around that hood and that range? Because I had other stainless appliances in here, I felt like it just tied it all together and it has a stainless piece across the top. So it just all blends together and makes it feel seamless. My artwork here has changed several times. I love to just switch out the artwork and try something new. Uh, but having this cute little clock on here and these beautiful knobs, oh. All those little details are what will make you love your space. I also put in above these windows, these are a Danish company. They are these beautiful sconces that I had been dreaming of for years. I never thought I'd ever even be able to consider having something like that in my home. And then when we were designing the kitchen, I was like, I have to have those in here. And above these windows is the perfect 
place. This is our daily life. I haven't cleaned up for you guys or done anything different. There's always fruit in this bowl and it's always changing out and I like to keep some sort of pasta, spaghetti, I don't care. Just fill up the jar with whatever we want to eat that week and olive oil and my daughter found me these salt and pepper shakers. I think she said she got them at Home Goods. She got them for me for Christmas. I couldn't believe it. The funny thing is, is that I really don't use these. Can I show you which ones I really use? I have a few stuck in the back from Christmas where we just didn't get to use them all and bought a few too many, but I'll show you the salt and pepper shakers that I use every single day. It's these that my daughter made me when she was nine, and I love them so much. I should just put them out on the counter, honestly, but she gets, she's like, mom, get rid of those, and I'm like, never. Never. So we put some really great organizers into these drawers and I love the fact that they are soft clothes. One of the other big splurges that I did was these amazing handles. They are made by a company in England. Um, I will put all the links below, but you can also reach out to me if you're interested in these items because some of them are custom ordered. Um, again, I became a vendor for these guys because I was like, I love these handles so much and I knew that I had two things that were competing against me in this kitchen. The biggest thing was the fact that it was small. I don't have a big footprint for my kitchen and the other thing was the fact that I had all these angles in here. So I wanted it to feel really simple. So instead of doing a crazy countertop or anything like really, really busy on the handles, I knew that I just wanted it to feel very relaxed like a living room, a literal living room. It's so, I um, I kept all the finishes really simple for that reason. There's some really great things that you can do if you have a straight kitchen. You can really play and have some fun, but if you have these kinds of angles, keeping things really simple is key. Another thing that you guys ask me about all the time is my shelving. Now, I did not put up a tile on the wall. I actually intended to pick something out and I never did. So I have a really thick little band across the top of these countertops that's in the same quartz as what I put on the counter. And that's really popular in Europe. And the reason I did that is that I wanted this to feel, again, like that living room. And so I didn't want like massive amounts of tile. I was trying to keep it really simple and really approachable. That was a really big deal for me. So these are just sitting up on the wall and there isn't tile behind them. And these are another Danish design company. Ikea has ripped them off, but I gotta tell you, these are so solid and they have this really cool rubber inside of them that keeps everything from sliding around. Um, they're incredible. They're by a company called VIP. And I fell in love with one of the owners. It's actually the, the granddaughter of the um, gentleman that started the company so many years ago. Um, and this family is amazing. They have incredible designs and they have a cool, uh, there's no other way to describe it, the coolest showroom in Copenhagen. And any excuse I could find to go in there and just walk around, it was always so inspiring. I learned, I learned so much from them. And I wanted that in, my kitchen. I wanted to remember that. I wanted to remember that moment. They were so good about putting herbs in, but also mixing things on their shelves. And um, and for me, these change because I'll use the same mugs for a while, and you can tell I haven't run the dishwasher, so a few of them are missing. Um, but I'll just switch them out and just try something different for each season. I just think it's fun. Another thing is my Nespresso machine, which if you've hung around here much, you guys know I'm obsessed with my Nespresso machine. So I wanted to create kind of that bakery, um, I wanted to create a bakery slash coffee station. It just feels like you always, you're just always ready for a guest to come and have coffee and cake. I just, I love that kind of feeling in my kitchen. and. Yeah, so we've got the cool cutting boards that just add a really great touch of wood in here. Um, some of these I've collected at antique markets, some I've gotten at um, Crate and Barrel, and others I got while we were in Greece. And so I think it's just fun to mix things up and have that kind of story around us. Like, it's just things that we really use, and I think that that's really cool. My, this is my son's uh, science experiment. So normally I don't have weird green stuff sitting on my counter, but 
he asked me to leave it here so he can find it when he gets home. They, I guess they throw like a little Alka-Seltzer in there and it turns it into a lava lamp. So that was really cool. And I told him that I would leave that there for him, but that's what makes it a home. I think that's what makes our house real. And you know, it's fun to tour it when I'm here alone and show you all these kinds of things. But my favorite way to see this kitchen is when it's full of people in life and there's a party going on. And I, I just think that's so much fun. Don't you? I also really love this really cool print. It's of a cafe and this print is by Decenio, but I just love it. Um, and I think it's just, it feels like a cafe and that's what I, I love that feeling. You guys know I'm obsessed with Europe and cafes and having that kind of feeling in the house just makes me so happy. Probably among the greatest things that we debated on this kitchen was should we take this wall out? I went back and forth a million times, but just through this doorway, which we use constantly, um, is the front door. And so I didn't want guests to come to the front door and literally see the entire house. I liked the idea that we were kind of tucked back here and the kitchen wasn't so exposed. So I decided to leave the wall. That was the big, that was the biggest decision. Then the big debate was, do we take out this doorway? And then there's another one here. If you can see, there's two doorways here. I've still to this day debated whether I should have closed it in and put a walk-in pantry. I'm not gonna lie to this day, I'm still debating it because I would love a walk-in pantry. Truth be told, I don't need one. I don't need more space. I just love that feature. So I don't know, maybe somewhere down the road I would build one in and I maybe would make it out of like wood, put some cool doors on it. But for this time period, the truth is, is that we use this walkway. I can't walk. I'm like, woo! <laughs> it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I promise I haven't been drinking. <laughs> um, we use this doorway constantly and this one ugh. okay this one <laughs> opens up to my office and when i'm working it's nice that i can shut the door but if my son is supposed to be doing homework at the kitchen table i can still keep an eye on him um and if we're having guests over and we're gonna use the office for overflow seating because i still have a dining table in there it's just nice that it's open that's why i didn't close it up you guys write in the comment section, should I have closed this up, this little corner, and turned it into a walk-in pantry, or would you have left it open? I'm telling you, if you guys write in there, a whole bunch of you, that you would have closed it up, that's gonna like play heavy on my heart. <laughs> it was so hard to decide. Let me show you some other fun features in this kitchen that I think you guys are gonna love. I didn't have an island to put the microwave into, so what I did was I hid it away. This is a real life right here. I haven't staged anything. This is a normal day. So I wanted you guys to see that it's messy. There's overstock of coffee and platters and it's not, it's not neat or tidy. So there you go, that's real life. Things are messy and um, they're relatively in order, but this is our real life. We've got a microwave sitting in here. I put the outlet in the back so I could plug whatever I wanted in here because I was like, ooh, well one day I might want to like make this a coffee area. I don't know. Because again, I need options. I need to change things. So, so far that has been amazing and I love that it's hidden away and I don't have to look at a microwave because that's not the prettiest appliance to me. And I also went with like a really clean slab front on the cabinets because I wanted it to have a really clean modern look to it so again it wasn't too busy all those kind of things were playing into my mind i could have done a shaker style on this and i debated it up until the end i'm still not totally sure that was one of the things that definitely could have i definitely could have put the shaker style on this on this side but my husband was like no my husband likes the flat front he likes that modernness he likes the way that i've pulled it together with old and new so i leave it let me show you my pantry. If you remember, we did a video not too long ago where I was showing you the pantry. Well, when we did that, I was trying to do like more edgy. I was going that Scandinavian style. So when I decided to switch things up and start putting in the old pots and the rustic little baskets and all that kind of stuff, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna switch out these baskets. So all the things that the girls from Neat Method did for us got used somewhere else, but I, um, I liked these baskets. 
I mean, I didn't even prepare this for you guys. This is just literally what this thing looks like right now. So I still have glass jars in here. I actually added a few more because I really like to decant my food. Um, I can't figure out where some of these are. I think the kids have them upstairs. But we love these pullouts. And I just put some baskets in here that look very French. And I thought that that just added that kind of feeling. But I used the same exact tips that they already gave us. So you can see this is like breakfast and there's bread and peanut butter back here in the back. It's one of the clear little bins that they gave us with the cookie cutters that I make my youngest. He likes his little sandwiches. So I've got the bread and everything kind of in here. And then down here, I kept the clear bins that they gave us. And I used the same exact methods that they um, they showed us with just keeping things kind of in order. You can see how we just kind of put them in here and we just put them in there and everything's kind of neat. And every week that kind of changes, but this is the kids' snack area and it's about time for grocery shopping. Over here, it's um, alcohol and um, flavorings. We don't drink that much. My husband really wants a bar card at some point, so I didn't want to design the pantry around the bar area. Um, so we just have a few, um, it's just, you know, drinks and um, flavorings and a few things that are kind of like that for making just fun drinks. I think I'm going to go ahead and order the rest of the pullouts for over here because I love them so much on the other side and I don't want the baskets to tear up these shelves. So this is baking. You can see my husband's, this is my husband's way of putting away cookies in the, uh, in the sweet bin. <laughs> Just keeping it real here. <laughs> I know it's a little bit harder to tell with me in this shot, but this kitchen was open already to the breakfast room and onto this family room slash sunroom, which you guys saw us recently painting black. Um, so I didn't feel the need to open that wall for that reason because I already had this openness. I left the sink where it was. The advantage to living in the kitchen for about a year before we actually remodeled it was that we got to know whether we liked the way that the kitchen functioned. We got to figure out that instead of a double oven, as long as we had an oven that was still wide enough to fit the same amount of trays, we would be happy. You know, it just gave us that time to really figure things out. And I am standing here all the time. It's either me or my husband who I cook and he cleans up the dishes. That's kind of the order of things in the house. Everybody's happier that way because he can't cook anything. The kids are hanging out in that room. We're hanging around the table. Somebody's in the kitchen. It's just amazing to have this kind of space. And it's not huge because I know that the ultra open style is really big right now. But for us, this was ideal. So I put in an incredible Brizo faucet. No regrets on that. I, I love that it had like these cool industrial handles on it. Um, again, I've got these cool knobs that are here on the cabinets. I really didn't think I was gonna like having a trash can inside the cabinet. I was worried it would get dirty, that it would be gross, but instead it's genius. I love this feature. I absolutely love it. So we've got recycling in the back and then trash at the front. So I can literally just scoop things into that trash can. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. And my kids will sit here all the time and we hang out together and we talk and when friends come over and family, someone's always sitting here. We're always just in the room together. I think that about covers it. I absolutely love my kitchen. Um, the cabinetry is from Bell and they were amazing to work with. And um, oh my gosh, I can't. I can't let you see my kitchen without letting you see the floors. These are the same reclaimed wood that we used in um, the rest of the house. It was super painful and it felt so wrong to take out what hardwood was in here, but we literally had a hardwood island in the kitchen. It was the only place that had hardwood in the entire house. So by taking out those pieces as painful as it was, it gave us the ability to make this room just stretch. And it made the house seem so much bigger. Everybody who saw it before and after thought we had moved walls because it just felt so much bigger in here. They couldn't believe it. Part of that was from taking down those cabinets. Part of it was get making this whole room white and then putting that dark color on the bottom. So I got my 
kind of sultry edginess, but then it's still approachable and warm and it's bright and all those things play together and I just designed a kitchen for us. You guys let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything else that you're wanting to know about the kitchen, but um, we absolutely love it and we love getting to have you come over for a visit. Now we need to go and have some coffee and cake. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys very soon. Oh, don't forget, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, like, you know, you know the drill, you know the stuff. We'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Reality, I need help. <laughs> we need to make over the refrigerator. Let me know in the comments if that is something you wanna see. I'm dying to do it. Look at this drawer, it's completely full. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see? Look at this mess. Look at this drawer full of cheese and salami and it's a complete and utter disaster. Ah, uh, yes, well, there you go. All right. <laughs>